And we are back at the IPSF Asia Pacific Regional Office, APRO TV channel. We are now streaming live with real-time coverage on our Google Meet application to talk personally with us today, one of the staunchest voices for the new field of planetary health. Also, a local think and do tank for advancing the health of both people and the planet. Let us all greet him with a warm round of applause, and Mr. Renzo Ginto. Uh, I'm Dr. Renzo Ginto. Uh, I am a public health physician. Uh, and as a public health physician, I focus not on individual patients, uh, but more on uh, issues that uh, affect, uh, affect uh, populations, uh, communities, uh, and countries, uh, such as COVID-19. Um, and so I'm glad to be in this conversation. Thank you. So uh, health emergencies uh, are uh, sudden uh, occurrences that uh, pose an immediate risk no, to, to health, to life uh, of people, of populations. Uh, and we know that COVID-19 is an example of a health emergency. Uh, but there are also other forms of health emergencies, such as uh, you know, natural disasters like typhoons and extreme flooding related to climate change uh, or uh, man-made uh, emergencies. Uh, for instance, uh, you know, if there's uh, an explosion no? or, or there's fire. So, so that is the, the definition of a health emergency. Everyone is um, susceptible uh, to being affected by a health emergency. So, for instance, um, you know, of course, COVID-19. Uh, no one is immune uh, to the virus uh, if it's a natural disaster. Uh, if you live in the, you know, area in the location where it happened, then uh, you definitely are are at risk of of suffering from the disaster. But it's important to remember that there are people uh, in our community that are much more vulnerable uh, than the others uh, because one, you know, they're, they're poor, they're impoverished. Uh, for instance, children, uh, the elderly, uh, women also uh, face uh, challenges that are unique uh, to these, um, you know, special population. So everyone, of course, is, is going to be affected by health emergencies but there are specific populations, the poor, uh, children, um, you know, the elderly, people with disabilities, indigenous peoples who uh, may be uh, disproportionately affected by uh, health emergencies and therefore we need to give them special attention. So why we should prepare for emergencies? Lives are so precious to be lost. That's the first uh, and, and I think the most important reason. Uh, and therefore, it is imperative for uh, communities, for societies, for governments uh, to really put in place the necessary uh, measures so that uh, we mitigate the negative impacts of, of emergencies. And how can we prepare? No, uh, I think first and foremost, strong uh, governance is essential uh, because the response to emergencies are executed by by people and by people in government by people in the business sector uh people from civil society and so governance uh is therefore uh you know very important uh if not uh, the most important and then once there's good governance everything else will follow you know we will have uh the the right uh staff you know the workforce uh that will uh provide uh protection uh, to those who are affected, or uh, the commodities that are needed, no, uh, in the you know for the evacuation centers, you know the emergency uh, food supply, you know, all those will follow if we have strong governance for emergency preparedness. So I invite our pharmaceutical students uh, from across Asia Pacific. Uh, to really uh, be uh, active uh, in the promotion and protection of not just our own health, but also of the planet's health. Uh, because that is the only way to go if we are to prevent the next pandemic, if we are to delay or, or even stop uh, the worsening of climate change, 
And if we are going to uh, protect uh, not just our generation, but also future generations uh, from different kinds of uh, diseases and uh, illnesses. So thank you and uh, good luck and please stay safe. Now, there we have it. We hope on this April TV channel, everyone will be able to receive several takeaways and this day marks the most important time that we, as pharmacy students, must start advocating to these advocacies, especially during this time of the COVID-19 pandemic, where we are interconnected with each other and collaboration is really needed to solve different health emergencies that all of us experience as we live on this planet today. Now please stay tuned and don't go away as a Pro TV channel will be coming back for more public health topics. Thank you and stay safe April Farmily.